Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well and in this important session that is the daily dose series we are going to discuss a very important topic of mechanical and civil engineering branch that is related to the truss from engineering mechanics and the topic is trick to find the zero force member in the truss my dear. Let's start without any calculation with the help of some uh, concept with the help of some important point and a step by step procedure you will be able to find zero force member even without calculating the force on that member okay so step by step let's move forward what is the first step my dear when the entire truss is given to us then you know very well that you need to find the zero force member on the in the truss so what you need to do you have to start to move from one joint to other joint to find the force member or the zero force member okay so what exactly you need to do you have to start from a joint at which minimum number of force member are acting what is the meaning of the minimum number of force member means the member of the truss external force apply on that truss and my dear reaction that is provided by the support will be considered under the topic of the force member when i when we say the force member it means it is the combination of truss member combination of external force plus reaction provided by the support okay now after that second one you need to proceed in such a way that first of all you go to the joint at which minimum number of force are uh, are, are acting after that more than this after that more than the similar way so in this way we are proceeding like what is the minimum number of uh, force member that can be act at a joint two so first of all you will go to the joint at which two force member are acting if two are over then three after three four and five like this not in the reverse way otherwise a lot of time you will be either you will be in trap or you will be uh, get the wrong answer okay getting the wrong answer now there is an important warning caution for you never write the final number of zero force member until unless you have gone through each and every joint of the truss generally what we do in this topic we start to guess the answer Ki, sir one nahi hai to two hoga if five is not the correct answer then six may be the correct answer don't guess the answer until unless you have not gone through each and every joint of the member so let's start one by one in this way you need to proceed my dear first of all you just go to the joint at which two force member are acting because minimum number of force member are two my dear two force member are acting after that three force member are acting and in this three four member my dear there are two opportunity you will get one three force member when two out of the three will be the collinear and when all the three are non-collinear like first of all you will proceed when three force member but out of the three two are collinear so first of all you will go to the joint at which out of three two are collinear my dear okay so first of all two force member then three force member in the three force member you will go to the joint at which two are collinear out of three after that you will go to the three force member they are non-collinear then four and so on now this is the complete procedure i have told you that how will you proceed my dear after that it's a question but that how will you find the zero force when you are proceeding from one joint to another joint my dear like first of all let's start two force member joint my dear you are starting from here now you are starting from here so let's start with the two force member in the two force member when two non-collinear force member are acting at a joint let's say this is the joint a at this joint my dear two non-collinear force member are acting then the value of the force on both the member must be zero similarly this joint v joint if two non-collinear force member are acting then the value of the force on both the member must be zero my dear but if at any joint like this like c joint you go through and then you see that there are two member and these two member are collinear then they might be zero or non-zero 
बट दे मस्ट बी जीरो माइडिया वेन एवर टू नॉन कोलिनियर फोर्स मेंबर आर मीटिंग एट अ ज्वाइंट दे मस्ट बी जीरो फोर्स ओके when two collinear force member are acting at a joint then force on both the member must be must be zero clear zero force member you have found without any calculation let's come to the second point when two collinear force member are acting at a joint then the force on both the member will be zero or maybe non zero it will depend upon the condition sometime it may or may not be zero now let's move forward for the next one that is three force member joint my dear at the joint when three force member are meeting then in the three force member we have to proceed first on the three force member joint at which three are meeting and out of three two are collinear my dear so if you will go with this joint like this that is a joint my dear now at this point this and this will be the collinear then force on the third member must be must be zero in this case okay now if the three force or three non collinear force member are acting on the joint then force on each and every member must be non zero if these three members are meeting at joint b my dear then if they all are non collinear then force must be non zero okay like if this one is a joint and this one is the third member so two member are collinear third force must be zero and this is nothing but this is just a equilibrium condition sigma h is equal to zero sigma v is equal to zero because this force will be clearly balanced this force that's why this becomes zero my dear okay so in this way when you will just proceed from minimum number of uh, force member to the maximum number of force member then automatically some member e1 in the starting which were the complicated the these joint will be also easy for you when you will proceed in this way my dear let's try to solve one problem with all the concept a truss member is subjected under the point load p as shown in the figure then total number of member having the zero force first of all locate all the force and locate all the reaction my dear so in this case one reaction will be ra is it or not and this one my dear one reaction will be rv right so all the reaction force are acted on this body now let's try to find at any joint my dear are you able to feel that this is the question of two force member no no not at all no joint is having two force member here my dear okay so now after that you have to select a joint which is having three force member but out of three two are collinear my dear yes this and this will be the collinear let me change the color so that you will just check all the points are covered or not yes this joint so this will be zero my dear this and this will be collinear this must be zero my dear okay after that is it this and this will be collinear definitely zero after that this this joint let's go to this joint this and this will be collinear this will be zero and after that my dear this joint this and this will be collinear this will be zero and after that this joint will be there three member are acting because all zero force member will be removed three force member are acting at joint h then this and this will be collinear third one must be zero my dear after that let's go with this joint this one and this one is collinear then force on this member will be zero if this member will be zero then definitely this member will be zero and this is zero then definitely this will also be zero two collinear may or may not be zero right so in this case if one is zero then definitely second will be zero now is it the answer no it may be the answer but till now you have not gone through all the joint my dear joint number a is left one two and three all three are non collinear all non zero this one my dear one two and three all three non collinear non zero and this one three force are acting one two and three 
all three non collinear all non zero okay so let's count the zero because you have gone through each and every joint a e c f and this this joint and d and this one and h every joint you have checked my dear now you count the zero force member 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yes answer is 9 you can select this answer so this is the way to proceed to find the zero force member i hope it will be it is already clear to you so thank you all bye bye take care